Hi everyone, this is Courtney here from Nora with another requested tutorial. This tutorial that's been requested is for big volume 80s inspired chopstick curls, kind of like afro curls. So this is how I recreate this look. So for this look I use my chopstick wand, which is just here. It's my chopstick wand. I also use crimpers and hairspray. Lots and lots of hairspray. And sectioning clips for sectioning your hair. So I like to be able to keep this in a really, really far side part. So what I'm going to do is create a slightly diagonal, really far side part. So you can see it's just on a very slight angle. This will allow us to get plenty of volume in the hair, but also allow us to flop the hair from side to side, whichever side you feel like wearing it, and create that overall afro feel to it. Now, if you don't have crimpers, don't worry. The crimpers are purely for adding a little bit of texture and volume to the root of the hair and nothing more. If you don't have crimpers, what I would suggest is using a little bit of a texture spray or a hairspray or even dry shampoo in at the roots of your hair and very, very gentle teasing before doing the corkscrew curls just to give your hair that little bit of volume and create that big, big volume look. So working in either your hair's natural part or the part that you've now created, what we're going to do is section off the sides of the hair from the back. So this side. And this side. So this style is a lot easier to recreate on second day hair. If your hair is just freshly washed and it's very, very soft, then I would definitely recommend using plenty of dry shampoo and texture spray just to give your hair a lot of grit to hold the curls. This is the kind of look that you don't want your curls to collapse too quickly. Um, otherwise, you're going to start to lose that 80s vibe from it. So I'm going to start on the sides first, just so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take about half an inch to an inch thick section and pin the rest of the hair. Oops, helps me turn my foot the right way. Pin the rest of the hair up out of the way. So once your crimpers are warm, if we're doing the crimping stage, if not, you could fast forward the video. But this would be great to watch anyway. Take your crimpers and just pop them in at the very root of the hair. So you're only going to use the crimpers just to crimp the first one to two inches of the hair. We don't want a very, very crimped look. We just want a little bit of texture. So just clamp them on and leave them there for a few sections. Seconds even. There we are. So you can see that that's automatically giving the hair a little bit of texture and volume. Same process again. So you don't have to be overly precise with this step. Again, this is purely just to help create a little bit of lift at the roots. Particularly if you have quite heavy hair, um, again, to help the curls kind of stand up as opposed to drop. If you do feel it's over crimped, just run your fingers through to kind of soften it a little bit. So we're not going to hairspray this in place, so don't panic. We're not going to use any hairspray until we get to the curling. So this was a look that I 
created and used for my hen night and it's since uploading the photos of it has been one of my most requested looks that everyone has been dying to know how I did so I thought what better time I come up with a tutorial for it Remember to get in as close to the root as we can. Crimping your roots is a really great technique that I have found for people who have naturally quite flat hair, not a lot of natural volume to it, that I like to use sometimes for curling techniques very much like this one, one that you want plenty of volume and body to your hair. So you can see already how much volume my hair has just from crimping the roots. So we're going to repeat this step on this side and the back of our head and then we're going to start curling. Okay, so now that we have finished crimping all the roots of our hair, we're now going to start using our chopstick wand to put the curls in. So again, I'm going to start from the sides just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So we want to work in fairly small sections for this. Um, if you work in too big a section, you're not going to get as tight of a curl and not going to get that same kind of afro look to it. So I'm actually going to make this section a little bit smaller. And we're going to split this into two. So we want to get as close to the root of the hair as we physically can with this. Taking care not to burn yourself and wind the hair all the way to the ends around the barrel. If your chopstick wand comes with a heat protection glove feel free to use it I just don't feel comfortable using them but they're definitely great for helping keep your fingers safe so you're gonna hold that there for a few seconds and then release now again for this look I do like all of my hair to come in the same direction. So I'm going to place the wand back in behind. What I sometimes find easier is once I've got all the hair wrapped around the barrel, which I do have pretty long hair, so it takes a while. then to wrap the wand and just twist in here to get in closer to the roots. Hold and then release. There we are. So let's repeat that same process up here.
same process again. We're just going to wind the hair all the way around the barrel of our wand. Getting as close to the ends as we can. I like to just rest my pinky on the end to keep my hand still. Hold it for a few seconds and release. So this is a little bit time consuming but definitely worth the wait for the result. Once again, a really small section. Place the barrel of your wand in behind the curl and wind. And you can rest your pinky. So you can see just how close an hour I'm getting. Will probably take a little bit of getting used to, but you want to get as close as you physically can. Once again, same process. And release. So we're literally going to repeat that same process throughout our entire head. It might be easier to get a friend to help you with the back but we'll get as close to the roots as we can by ourselves as well. So once all of your curls are set what we want to do is spray everything with hairspray and leave it all to fully cool. So my hair is all now completely cooled and what we're now going to do is dress out the curls. These kind of curls we're not going to brush out or comb out to um, dress out, what we're going to do is take each individual curl and pull it apart to create a smaller, thinner curls and more volume in the hair. So we're going to take an individual curl and just pull apart like this, creating lots of smaller curls from it, like so. Take another curl So I'll try to finish this full side just so you can see what I'm doing If you do need to use a clip, then feel free. Just try to clip it really loosely. So we're going to carry on repeating this process throughout the entire head. So we'll see how this all looks finished. So as you're working your way through all the sections, you'll start to see the shape coming together. Once again, we're just going to work each curl individually, pulling it into smaller sections. Like so. Again, it is a little bit of a time-consuming process, but the finished look is 
really worth the time. So here we have one side fully dressed out and then we'll move on to this side. You can see that I'm just using my fingers just to separate the curls. The idea is you shouldn't feel any kind of crispy or tackiness in the hair spray. All the hair should feel really soft and natural. I absolutely love this look. It's been one of my favourites that I've ever, you know, created on my own hair. There we are, so that's the two sides undone. I'm going to undress the back. Once everything is all dressed out and you're happy with the separation of the curls and how everything is sitting, I want to give everything one last good spray of hairspray. And also, if you do feel like the ends of your hair are a little bit kind of frizzy and you just want to neaten them off. If you have a little bit of the Just Smooth Taming Oil then feel free to add a little bit of that. Just one pump to your hands. I usually just kind of dab the excess off of my hands and then just apply to the ends of the hair. And just anywhere that you feel is a little bit frizzy. And there you have it. That is how I achieve my big 80s inspired volume afro curls. Thanks for watching.